Welcome to the quarantine um, chat with me concerning marriages. I'm just coming in real brief with you guys to kind of go over some things about how you guys been since the quarantine. We've been locked in with each other and haven't been able to do much. So I'm just wondering like how everyone has been doing during this um, basically, um, what we've been doing is a lot of things together. Like, we really haven't been doing much, too much of nothing really by ourselves. I mean, we've been going, like, to the grocery store together. We've been um, watching movies. Um, if we grab something to eat, we kind of cook. We share those different things as far as cooking. All those different things we've been doing pretty much together. And that have helped us in this quarantine to have that togetherness. So if you are not sharing the responsibility, that can be a big, big problem. Because when a person feel like they're always have the big, big, big responsibility of things, then that's when you have those type issues. So in the last month, just sit and think about how much time, even though you were together, that you were actually together. Think about that. And even in a time where they're actually letting some of us, you know, in different states out, um, I still say be mindful, you know, still do things together. Try to spend as much time together still in this time because we must be safe. Because for me and my household, we're still going to take this thing serious as possible. And so I want you guys to just think about those different things. It's the time that you've been with your spouse. Did you become closer? Was there a bond or did it take you a little bit, you know, um, apart from one another. Those are some questions that I have for you. And if it had been a closeness, then don't let anything stop you from that closeness. Continue on to have that closeness after all of the pandemic that's going on in the world. But if it's caused you guys to be apart, then I say to you, let nothing, nothing allow you guys to be apart from one another. This time is that you should come together and continue on striving to be the best couples that you can possibly be. Hello, Brenda. And I um, hope you're doing great down there in Alabama. Um, just coming in to kind of share some thoughts as far as with us being locked in as couples. So um, um, hello to you down there. Um, also, I have a class that's going to be starting in May of next month on the 12th and so if you guys are interested in that class it's a great time to go ahead and get enrolled i have a new revised book that's coming out though it's already out that you can get on amazon so get your copy you will need one for you and your spouse because the classes does require both of you guys to have one because there are some um, rehab and restore questions in the back of the book so that's another way that you can actually get in and um, have these different assignments together. This is going to be a phenomenal class. I'm so excited about the class. And so I want each and every one of you guys to be a part, especially even if you're not having any issues in your marriage. This is just definitely an investment that will push you and propel you to do better in your marriage. But I just wanted to stop in and you know show my face and tell you guys that um, even this in this quarantine, continue to love on each other, let nothing separate us. Just be thankful that we are still here breathing and escaping this coronavirus thing. So that's the most important thing. But I just wanna, as I said, to stop in. Um, if you're interested, it, please contact me um, to get enrolled. I am enrolling as of now and the class starts on May 12th. So if you look on this book, I mean on this um, blog, you will see on the timeline the different times that it's going to be. But I'm so excited about this class and um, I'm looking forward to um, sharing some knowledge with you guys. So okay, have a blessed evening and Brenda, you stay beautiful and take care love. Bye-bye.